welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm reviewing the market. So I want to, I'm going to do a little technical perspective here on the overall market because I think it's a good lesson today and a good time to talk about it, about what I see is coming up ahead. I wrote some market talking points this morning, which I did read to the room, uh, sent them out to the TV people. And sometimes I write a lot. I don't get to talk on TV for as long as I would like to, but everything I want to say, I got a few things out today on Fox News. But, uh, you know, I, have, I could talk about the market for like all day long. Uh, but I will say this one thing. A long, long, long time ago, three months ago, whenever it was in January, I was on Fox Business, and I did discuss the fact that I, that I knew it was January. Actually, when was that? I'll tell you exactly when it was. It was here. Either the 28th, 29th, or 30th. I think it was before this rally. Yeah, it was right in here. I was on it. I was on TV, and I talked on Fox Business about the fact that the market would get through this area and up on through and through this area here which we did and beyond and how did i know that would happen okay so the reality is that i read gaps now for those of you that don't want to know what a gap is i'm going to do a quick basic lesson a gap is the difference between the close and the open so right now we're looking at the market the market really isn't gapping right now tonight so it looks like it's just neutral, okay? So I don't consider this really anything at all. We're basically, we closed at 285.89, we're at 285.79, so we're basically neutral. So like if we were open tomorrow morning and said this is a neutral gap. Now we could do something between tonight and tomorrow, tomorrow's a long way away. But the point is a gap is the difference between the close and the open. So the market closed on Friday at 282.48 and opened today where? Up, higher at 284.70. So the market gapped up. So the market gapped up and that happened from four o'clock on Friday until 9.30 in, in the morning this morning on Monday. So during that period, buying came into the market to lift the market up or wouldn't have gapped up in the first place. So that's what occurred. Now there are gap ups, there are gap downs. So let's look at a gap down, for example. This is a gap down, market closed here, gap down. This was back in December, okay? Long story short, there are gap ups and gap downs, but gaps are significant when they happen when they rate well to me per my golden gap rating system so i have a 26 point rating system that rates the gap in the pre-market or you could do it in the post-market and determine if the stock is going to follow through in the direction that it's currently gapping whether down in other words you would short the stock or up in which case if the stock was gapping up you would buy the stock only if what only if it rates 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. If it doesn't, it could reverse or it might be something you might not do at all. There's what I call no play. So not every time something gaps is a continue in the direction of the gap. If it did, it'd be very easy to trade the market or trade gaps or predict where something is going to go. So there's lots of gaps that occurred here. Lots of gaps that occurred here. Lots of gaps that occurred here. How do you know which ones are significant? Well, that's where the rating system comes into play, which you would learn in my class called the Golden Gap Course. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying here about the market, uh, what I'm seeing here is, and I said this tonight on TV, so I'll say it here to you now, uh, although I talked about it more in depth in the trading room, it looks like the market's going to try to make a brand new all-time high in the first half of 2019. I can see this now. I didn't, I didn't know exactly when that would occur earlier, but now it looks, it looks likely. Whether, whether we make a trade deal or not, okay, by that point. And I say first half, so first six months of the year. So it could be May, could be June, could be April, but I'm saying first half of the year, which is a good sign for the market. Today, today's gap up was a significant gap up and a good sign for the market. It was a good sign, a good start to April, a good sign. Why? Because this gap happened out of nowhere. You can say what well, happened because of this thing, that thing, another thing. Really, this just got bought okay so for this to happen today for no really significant reason there wasn't a big catalyst that created the gap up today in the market is what i'm trying to say it's a good sign a good sign that the market is getting bought and that it's following through and that's what you want to see so we talked about this in the trading room because many traders didn't think the market was going to continue higher here after this breakout here and the failure to follow through on the day after and it gapped down, and it sold off, and it went red, and it broke the previous day's low, and then it made a lower high, many traders thought the market would not continue higher. This meant nothing, nothing at all. And that's what you come and learn from me. Because many traders would get sucked into either one, killing their long, getting out here, which case you would have missed the move up today, 
or not going long again, or going short, which by the way, by the by, many people did. People are short this market still, and that is crazy town. And not only that, I bet people will attempt to short the market again if it goes back up to the high and doesn't get over it. So, you know, long story short, gaps tell you a very, very, very important piece of information, but not all gaps have the same significance, importance. Today was an important gap for the market. Therefore, there's a lot of significance to be taken away from it and a lot to be learned. So great call I made in the market. On Friday, I made the call. I've been calling the market all along, but it's really because I understand gaps. That's something that you can learn from me. It is not beyond the realm of your comprehension. You can learn the skill set that I have as well as I've called the market and I call stocks too, but I really called the market extremely well, which is just like become my thing now because so many people have called it wrong and I've called it right. It's because of my ability to read gaps and it's a skill and I'm telling you, you can learn how to do this too. And once you learn that information, you can turn it into profit. That is what is the benefit of learning this. Also, you don't get out of moves too early, okay? so. Some people actually got out of the option trade, took it Friday, got out of it, killed it before the weekend because it didn't close green. And then we're worried about holding into the weekend and miss this move up. So, you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, if you want to learn what I know, the class for this month, right at the beginning, right when earnings season starts, you can trade then the whole month of April and into May. It's April 13th and 14th. So, you know, sign up if you're interested. That's the class to do. That's the class to be in. It's two weekends from now. And you can get these calls, get these moves. These going to be very interesting week. Uh, this, I mean, this is happening way, way sooner than expected. I will tell you that. I mean, and not until just recently did I see here, like in the last, I'd say, week, and really like today was a confirmation for me to just put it out there and say it on TV that the market will make new highs by the first half of 2019. So great call. And you can learn how to do this too. And if you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at Have a good night.